What's up, y'all? It's your girl, El Rochelle, the Hardwood Diva, also known as the Diva Mommy. Um, and we are here for Diva Mommy Mondays. It is Monday, April 27th, and I am raring to go. Um, I am 12 weeks postpartum. Uh, little man is 12 weeks old. He's three months. Uh, it's been a crazy three months. Um, we haven't talked in about two weeks, I think it is. So I just wanted to give you a couple updates on what we've been dealing with in these last two weeks. Um, so a lot has changed. Um, he's become much more talkative. I mean, like to the point, like we, we can hold like conversations, you know, he'll sit there and talk to you. Um, he gets really talkative usually in the evening time. Um, I know I was reading somewhere that they were saying that that's the perfect time, I think, between like 6 and midnight. So people are like, why, am, why is my kid up? He should be asleep. Um, usually that's the best time because they know that's the time that they have your undivided attention. No one's at work. No one's, you know, kind of doing other things. Um, you have them. They have you also themselves. So they're very excited about it. So I guess they spend lots of time trying to talk to you. He is currently doing tummy time. Um, in his little activity gym so if you hear noises and stuff like that that's because he is playing and having a good old time down there uh, so like I said he's become much more talkative he's starting to like open his hands a lot more uh, he tries to scoot along I'm watching him try and scoot his little self um, with his head down kind of scoots along if you put him on for tummy time um, he he can hold things he can start grasping uh, we'll put like a burp cloth across him or anything and he'll try and jerk at it and tug it um, so a, a lot of things are going on we're starting to get a much more interactive baby um, out of starting getting out of that newborn phase where they're just kind of there um, he's very aware of people he smiles all the time um, we definitely have a social baby which I think is very much so like both me and my husband um, he can go to pretty much anyone um, every now and then he'll have a fussy day but for the most part he loves people loves being around others so um, I've got a pretty good baby Elijah is awesome um, so yeah so it's been a really good 12 weeks uh, the only thing is now I'm preparing two weeks I am going back to work um, so our next video will likely be um, It'll probably be from that evening time. Um, I just have to gauge what time I'll be able to do the video. May not even be evening. Y'all may not get a video until like the next morning or something like that. And we'll see. We'll see. Um, the great thing is, oh, in these last two weeks, he is sleeping. And not just kind of sleeping, like really sleeping. Um, on average, he'll go to sleep anywhere between like 9.30 and 11 um, p.m. And then he wakes up around 6. Four, but anywhere between 4 and 6. So 9.30 to 11 and four, between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. Uh, so we're getting like a good solid 6 to 8 hours of sleep with this, guys. This has been amazing. I know it will change likely once teething comes along. Um, but for a mommy that was frazzled and tired, and especially now that I'm going back to work, it actually works perfectly um, with my schedule because I would probably be waking up about 6 a.m. to take him to to get ready to take him drop him off at the daycare and then go on to work so he's kind of helping mommy out normally what he'll do is he'll like I said he'll sleep from about 9 30 say like last night he went to sleep probably about 10 um he woke up at 4 um fed him he went back to sleep and didn't wake up again until 7 then he'll go to sleep again he'll eat again and then go to sleep again for probably about another two and a half to three hours and then the rest of the day he takes like short spottier naps like maybe an hour here and there but he gets a lot of his sleep at night so I guess that's why he likes being up during the day and just hanging out with mommy so um yes yeah, so we'll be going back uh I'll be going back to work on May 11th the day after Mother's Day um, and he'll be starting daycare. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about choosing daycare providers and all that kind of stuff. But I'm so excited about the daycare that we chose. Like I'm, it's two, uh, two amazing women. I want to call them girls, but it's not fair to them. I've known them since they were two, though. So I guess that's part of the reason why. <laughs> um, but they're awesome, and I can't wait to have him there. My niece goes there as well, uh, so it should be a lot of fun she's excited to have him there she's two years old and she's just like raring to go to have her her Elijah at uh, her baby at, at her daycare center so 
this week I wanted to talk a little bit about feeding I know um, I think in my previous videos when I was pregnant I think I did let you guys know that my plan was to breastfeed I do plan on breastfeeding exclusively for six months um, and then we'll move on to solids I'll still breastfeed and likely wean around like a year to a year about a year about a year anywhere between a year and like 15 months it just depends on what happens um, but I do want to go into feeding in the sense that okay we still will be providing bottles but he'll just be using breast milk so um, feeding so far has been very good um, the first couple of weeks well probably about the first week um, for about three days out of that week I had to supplement because colostrum breast milk neither of those came in until very late in the, uh, the first week and that was because um, likely because of my um, going through the epidural and having um, IV meds and it was very stressful on my body so I think my body took a little bit longer so he wasn't getting anything so we had to supplement um, I was definitely afraid for nipple confusion but we have nothing to worry about that because now we're trying to get him off well not off but understand how to also take a bottle um, he's used to being breastfed I've exclusively breastfed since um, he was probably about 10 days old not even 10 days old probably about eight nine days old so he barely even knows what a bottle's like anymore doesn't care for them would prefer not to even deal with them um but we've had about four bottles that we've tried for different types of bottles and that's something you're gonna have to understand you have to go through bottles uh nipples all that kind of stuff to get which one is gonna work best for your baby so i'll go in order of the ones that we have liked the best and I'll let you know which ones we're going to go with um, and which ones will likely be sending him off to daycare and to you know any other providers babysitters moms um, what we'll be sending him off with and how we'll be storing uh, breast milk all that kind of stuff so first up our favorite bottle has so far been this one is called Pura Kiki um, it's made by let me show you made by the company Pura, Pura Stainless Steel. Um, it's a stainless steel bottle. Uh, we saw reviews on it on Baby Gear Lab. Um, it was rated one of the best because of its eco-friendliness. Um, there's no uh, the chemicals, all that kind of stuff. We're not having to worry about BPA, BPS, any of the bisphenol, I believe, you know, family because some things are BPA free but they also could have the other bisphenols in there and it's just too much. So, this one's awesome um, and lately and the reason I love it is it supports a lot of these wide neck nipples that are best for breastfed babies because they're kind of used to a wider neck than that standard nipple um, and we've gone with the MAM nipple um, and currently he's on the stage two as he is three months um, so this has been my favorite thus far great thing about this is you can also put like regular caps on them and you can use them for all kinds of stuff I love this bottle um, this one is 5 ounces and it has an 11 ounce as well, I believe it is. Um, and you can use this for water. You can switch out the nipples, put a spout on that. So once he gets a little bit older, uh, we'll be able to, to switch out and change those. So, so far, this has been one of our favorites. Um, and then the second fave has been this one, which we actually just found like two days ago. And we've given it to him and... We gave it to him while I was sitting there. Normally, he will not take a bottle if he can look at me. He, like, really hates that. Like, it's like, lady, I see you. Come on, let's do this. Why are you trying to feed me this artificial lens? But he took this. And I think a lot of the reason is the way it feels. It's silicone. The body of it is silicone. Um, the top of it is silicone. Um, it's very soft. So if you have a breastfed baby, you kind of know how they are they kind of like to feed and touch and smush and so this definitely feels a lot like what they're used to feeling um we found this one at bye bye baby um it's called como tomo um it is awesome they have green and pink we picked green he's a boy um we found it at bye bye baby and they sell the five ounce and the eight ounce. We got the eight ounce because he is at that transition phase where he's starting to drink more. Um, so I think he's right now at about four and a half to five ounces. So we were like, well, let's go ahead and move up because most babies are gonna start using 
more and drinking more as they get older. Sorry, he's sitting on his hand. He's I don't think he's hungry. He just has discovered hands lately. So I'm not sure if you can hear him, but he's doing that. Next up is the Kind system. It's K-I-I-N-D-E. Um, and this is a pretty cool storage system. Sorry, I'm like looking. He looked like he was getting a little stressful face and I want to make sure he's not stressed out. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool because you can pump directly into these breast milk saver bags. Put a top on it. You slide it in here, and once you slide it in, you pop the top off. Sorry, you slide it in, pop the top off, put the nipple on. Great thing is, this nipple actually mimics uh, breastfeeding. So, there's a couple steps that your babies are doing while breastfeeding, it mimics, and he actually has taken that one very well, too. Um, we had to recently move him up to the medium flow because slow flow is really really hard and he was just getting frustrated and just would not eat finally the last one is life factory glass bottle so glass stainless steel and silicone have been our favorites just because of their um lack of some of the plastics that are in most or some of the chemicals that are in most plastics um they're natural occurring uh so it's it's a lot easier to deal with this one comes in a four ounce and a nine ounce um we'll be moving we have one nine ounce and we have about three of the four ounces only thing i don't like is i don't like the standard size nibbles you can't switch out to a wide neck um which he prefers but hey it is what it is what we'll likely be doing though is using these for storage down the line um so so far we were really in love with the kind system but because of the plastics we're probably going to move away from it if your concern isn't as high for that uh it's very convenient uh but what we'll likely be doing is we found these like little silicone trays i just ordered them from amazon so i can't show you they're little silicone trays that you can freeze breast milk in and they'll like almost like little cubes you can pop them out put them into the to the different bottles warm up the bottle and it's just fine um, so we're going to get a few of those um, and let them freeze and pop them into like different freezer safe bags and haul them back and forth between uh, here and whoever is taking care of him. Um, but definitely I will tell you my personal face so far has been Komotomo and Pura. So if you want to go with both of these can be found on Amazon.com. Um, this one I think can also be found Pura. It's on Amazon. That's where we got it, but it can be found at um, a couple other places. I'm not sure if Bye Bye Baby. I think it was diapers.com, but they're awesome. Definitely take a look at them. If you have any more questions for me about feeding and different um, options for that, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I am happy to help you guys. I love you. Have a wonderful Monday. Bye.